Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Lori. Hi, Barb. Hi, Suzanne. Welcome, everybody. I can get my paper straight here. <laughs> Only so much room on my table, and I think it's good now. Hi, Joni. Hi, Erin. Hi, Susan. I know, Elizabeth Crafts tonight. Let me get some light on the... Hopefully you guys can see that better. Hi, Colleen. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. It's a little blurry, but... Hopefully it'll focus. It doesn't know what to focus on, I don't think. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Glad you can make it. I forgot to tell my buds that I was on tonight, but I remind them, I should say, that I was on tonight. But I see they remembered. And you guys remembered. Oh, good. I'm glad it's good, Joni. Thanks. Hi, Heather. Heather is feeling better because she's sending us many, many emails about different things of Lucy 4 and stuff. So I'm glad she's starting to feel better and sending us emails and whatnot. So that's good. And I'm glad to see you on here, Heather. Thanks. Hi, Deborah. So uh, we'll get started. Um, so tonight, what I'm going to show you is the uh, classic Christmas special kit from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, it came out a little while ago, but um, I thought I would show some of the different things that you can do with it because it looks like it's geared towards cards, but there's a lot more that you can do with it than, uh, than um, just cards, that's for sure. Hi, Joanne. So, um, in the kit, you can see uh, everything that you get in the kit, and the kit is $58.49, which is a great price for what you get. So you get this fun um, stamp set, which is a lot of fun words for Christmas time. So like, may your holidays be filled with joy, season's greetings, may your new year shine, sending a little holiday sparkle, sending you a flurry of love. Uh, wishing you a Merry Christmas and Joyful Wishes, Merry and Bright, and then uh, To and From, which is great for tags. And then there's some star stamps as well. So you get that. You get this really cool um, die, which is a slimline die, but you don't have to just use it for slimline cards you can use it for a lot of things and i'll show you i've used it for a regular size card and um I, I used it for a few different things so you get that then you get three ornament dies and the little thingies that go on top of the ornaments <laughs> i don't know what they're called uh what that little piece is called but uh, they cut out the background part of these ornaments so like that so you get three of those plus the little, those things. <laughs> yes. Uh, and you get um, snowflake dies as well. And there's like three, six, seven, there's eight. Eight snowflake, snow, snowflake dies. And because there's snowflakes, they're all different. And they're so cool. And they cut, like, uh, Elizabeth Craft's um, dies cut really, really well. They cut just like cutting through a hot knife through butter. I like how they cut. The paper can't be too thick, I've noticed, but um, that's like any die, I think, uh, for this type of die. The paper can't be too thick, but 
to get all those. And you get an inspiration sheet, which is um, gives you different ideas of what you can do with your stuff in the kit. It is a great set, isn't it, Joni? You don't realize what's all in there when you're just looking at it in the store because it's all packaged up nice and pretty um, until you take it take it out and you have a good look at it. Okay. So, of course, uh, I did the standard. It is a great price, too. Thanks, Laura. Yeah. So, um, and yeah, can you ever have enough snowflakes? I think I have like four or five <laughs> die sets of snowflakes, and I don't think one of them is the same. They're all different designs, which is awesome. Hangers, Susan, that's what those are called? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so this is my first card. I just made a basic card uh, just to show you some of the, what you can make if you need like fast and easy. Um, so I cut out, um, I used the die with printed paper. So this paper is actually from the Graphic 45. Um, I'll just show you the pad. The Graphic 45 patterns and solids for let it snow and I just used one of those papers and cut out the the die and so you can use it on a standard card because if you can see like this is bigger than the card and then I cut out one of the the ornaments with the hanger and I put a snowflake on there you can see that and the paper I used uh, for the snowflakes is the opulent cardstock and it's the rose gold opulent cardstock so i really i really like that color and then i just made a simple simple card out of that well thanks heather <laughs> hi susan yes snowflakes are all unique yes um and then I made this card, again, using the same printed paper from the Graphic 45 um, solids and, and prints uh, paper. Um, I cut out a silver, just out of a silver shiny paper that I had, uh, one of the ornaments. And then I stamped the saying, send a little holiday, sending a little holiday sparkle. And I punched it out with one of my punches that I had. And just pop that up. Whoops, I'm a little too high here. And I, of course, sponged around the edges in a navy blue ink. And that's just a simple card. But it's simple, but it's, I think it's cute. <laughs> I think it's elegant. Yeah. Simple cards, but pretty. Okay, so then I stepped it up. Well, I sort of stepped it up. I made some slimline cards. So this, I just did a simple um, slimline card just to show you what the die looks like full on a, a page. So I cut the whole die. Um, and I cut it in just a navy card stock and I put it on a nice light pink. So like you don't even have, like this doesn't even have to be for Christmas. So, cause it's not really Christmassy. Like there's no real snowflakes within the die. There's stars, but that that uh, doesn't mean it's Christmassy, right? So I just did that to show you what it looks like just out of cardstock on a on a card, and you can put a sentiment on there, whatever you like. Go that way. It can go that way. Whatever way you like. And one other thing I did too when I was cutting this die out is I saved all these little stars and I'll show you what I did with them after. But yeah, you can save the insides of your cards. So then uh, remember Megan and I, I think showed you um, the emboss and transfer, um, the emboss and transfer thing for the big shot. And I think Betty was demonstrating it at the store as well, where you can take your dies and make it. And oh, hi, Carolyn. That's okay that you're late. We just got started. 
where you can take your dies and make them uh, an embossing folder instead of a die. So I did that with this uh, embossing folder and I used the opulent cardstock, whoops, upside down. Um, again, the rose gold, but the shiny rose gold. And look, it's just like, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. And you could, again, it can be, it doesn't have to be a Christmas card. It can be for anything. And you just put a little, pop a little sentiment on there or pop something in the middle. Um, hi, Heather. Yeah, Betty did demo it. Okay, good. Yeah, I had, I was in Saskatchewan that weekend, so I didn't know it. Couldn't remember. So that's another thing you can do with this die. You can do that with the snowflakes too. I didn't do it with the snowflakes. I, uh. I ran out of time, but um, hi, Irene. That's okay if you're late. But yeah, you can do that as well. And then I really played with this one a lot because <laughs> I really liked it. I made this card. This one I really... Um, I think Heather showed us how to do this trick one time. So what I did was I cut out the die using the die... Um, out of navy cardstock and I put it on part of a sheet of the um, score tape uh, this is like a piece of score tape this whole you get, can get them in a sheet and they're um, $2.79 for the sheet or you can buy like a roll of score tape that's this wide which is I think it's Uh, it's three and a quarter inches wide. So I put my navy on top of the score tape and then I put that on top of the card and then I took the metallic flakes and put them over top of the score tape that was open. And then I, I brushed them in with my hand and then I took a, a paintbrush and brushed over top of it to get off the loose ends. Now, um, as I think... Heather told you too, and I'll tell you too, it's, it's kind of messy. So you want to make sure you do it over top of a, a container or a piece of paper so that you can take your paper and pour it back into your, with your metallic flakes. I really like this one. <laughs> Thanks, Yvonne. Thanks, Heather. Yeah. So the metallic flakes are, um, $5.59. And these are the gold ones. And I noticed we also have rose gold um, as well. I think we have silver, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least um, we used to, but for sure the gold. But yeah, so like again, that could be like a nice anniversary card or wedding or graduation. Or it's a nice Christmas one too. Just pop a sentiment on there and away you go. And it can go this way as well. It doesn't have to go this way. It can go this way as well that's that one <clears throat> so then I totally copied what um, they showed on here for the tag well just about totally copied it I uh, made a tag so I just uh, cut a two inch piece of paper I had a punch that made this fun little um, hole and edge here and I used some of the snowflakes and I don't know if you can tell that they're, I don't think you'll be able to see, they're kind of iridescent -y and shiny. What I did was I took some of the luster wax. This one is the lilac rainbow. And I just took one of the blending brushes that will be designated to wax um, and dipped it in there. And then I just rubbed it on my snowflakes to give them kind of a shiny because it was just white paper and I wanted them to kind of be have a translucent kind of shiny I don't know if you can see that though but uh and then I used the stamp set the two and the from on the stamp set I don't think you can see really see it I'm gonna have this one I'll bring this to the store and then you can see definitely see uh the translucent wax on there so it's another great way to use your waxes and really the wax you don't even really need very much at all to get that all and then I cut some little where I cut my pieces off here I just tuck them here no waste right 
<laughs> except for these little bits. And again, I used a blender brush. Um, this one, I think. This one from the kit that uh, comes in five colors. And I blended my navy ink around it, around the edges, because it was a white tape. So I did that. Then I um, also, of course, I think I showed you last week we were doing, a, um, I think it was last week. Remember I made uh, my winter journal. I have a winter journal and I do a bunch of different pages in my winter journal. So, of course, I had to make a page for my winter journal. So I just cut a piece of cardstock and I used uh, this We Are Memory Keepers six hole punch to punch the holes, which is designed to punch the holes perfectly for the Elizabeth Craft Design um, um, which is what this is. This is an Elizabeth Craft Design uh, journal. I forgot to look the price up of this. I think it's $32.99. Um, the punch is $39.99, but it's well worth the price because you can make as many pages as you want for your journal and whatever size and whatever shape, and you'll have the punch for it. So I did that, and again, I, I cut out the the longer die out of the opulent cardstock. This time I used the charcoal, I believe it is. Thanks, Carolyn. Thank you, you guys. Thanks, Erin. Um, I used the charcoal opulent cardstock, the shiny stuff. And again, I saved my um, little stars that were in there. And I just cut the edges off um, because I wanted it to kind of look not totally finished if that makes sense and i also cut out some of the snowflakes out of the charcoal opulent cardstock i don't know if you can see the shiny <clears throat> it's very shiny and then um the uh hangers i cut out of shiny the shiny silver and i don't know i just like that page it's a nice wintry page I might pop a sentiment or two on there if I feel like it or I don't know. Not sure yet. I have to put that up a little bit. Um, and then on this side, what I had done was I had cut out a bunch of snowflakes out of the um, rose gold opulent cardstock, the shiny one, one of the shiny ones. And so I put a whole bunch on this page. And this is where I put all my little stars that came out of the the dye. I put them all over here. Thanks, Barb. So um, this is a, just a fun, fun little page. And, and I didn't even use, let's see, three, six, seven, eight. I think I, I had one more I could have stuck on there somewhere for the different snowflakes. And then you could put little jewels and stuff in there. I got to pick some more up because I ran out. Um, I want some of those pink fresh jewels. Um, to put on. I think they would add just a little bit of extra bling, like the bling. <laughs> so I did that. And I popped these up with pop dots. So. And then the last thing I did, of course, was I did a um, one page, just a one page layout under here so this one hopefully you guys can see it okay <clears throat> um so what the paper i used was um blue fern studios i had i took two of these pages i had two of these pages so what i did was out of one i cut out this uh the stockings and the present I cut, I fussy cut them and then I popped them up on the page because I wanted stuff to come off the page. And then if you look and see my ornaments, don't look at the black too much because I don't, I don't know how I'm going to, I think I, I should have used a different color cardstock, but I'll tell you how I did that. Still can't really see very good in the light. 
But what I did was I took this uh, die and I cut out cut out a piece in I used black cardstock. I should have used cream colored. And then I laid it on my cream color paper and I took some uh, eye zinc, uh, which this one is a 24 karat red. It's called eye zinc diamond, so it's shiny. And I just, I used it like a stencil. So I put it on there and with my um, palette knife, I took some of my eye zinc and I spread it on there like that used it exactly like a stencil so you can see this is like shiny and I don't want to throw it away I'm thinking of what I could use it for because it's shiny all over from what I did so then I pulled that off and I should have used a cream colored one because then I wouldn't have the black here because the paper was starting to stick and then I cut out after it had, it had dried I cut out some of the ornaments and that's how I got these so how cool is that? <laughs> oh, thanks, you guys. Thanks, Deborah. So yeah, so that's another way you can use your stencil or your stencil, your die. Um, you could do that with an, any of these, like the snowflakes too. You could punch out the snowflake and use that as a template as well. Um, yeah, so just some great fun ideas I could have went on and on but um I don't know I I uh I really like this page I wasn't sure if I was gonna what was gonna happen with it but and I of course sponged around the edges of my this is where my pictures were go and I didn't put that down so I could stick my picture behind there so yeah so that is what I did. Hello, Miss Christine. You're late and you're almost at the end of my party. <laughs> I'm almost done my party. Um, okay, so of course, like I, I punched out a whole bunch of extra, I don't know if you can see them on here, extra snowflakes. So like, or punched. I didn't punch them. I cut them out with the die cutting machine. You guys know what I'm talking about. And I have a bunch of other things left over too. So like as I'm working away, I'll put these in a little bucket. I have a bucket where all my um, extra pieces go. And then as I'm working away on stuff, like these would be great to put on more tags. If I want to make more tags, I could just make some more tags and throw them on. So I have a little bucket that I put them in and uh, keep all your stuff like don't throw your these little things away and if you're cutting out one set you might as well cut out five right and then you're ready to go if you want to start creating again so all right so again I did my page my layout I should say and then my page for my journal, I made a tag, and I made some cards, slimline cards, and some regular cards. So it's a very, very versatile set. And like I said, it will last you for a long time. And again, you get the sentiments. You can use them anywhere. You don't have to use it on just cards you make with this stuff. Yes, the snowflake die is only available in the kit, Barb. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. I'm glad you got some great ideas. Thanks, Linda Pilgrim. Okay, so tonight I have a prize. Um, but I didn't want to put prize in my title because the last video... Last time I said prizes and they thought I was gambling. So they took my video off. So I'm like, I'm not gambling. Um, so tonight, um, Dan did give me a prize, but I don't think he gave me a keyword. So I'm going to make the keyword up and it won't be silly like the last one, but 
Um, so this is the prize, uh, a beautiful stamp set by Elizabeth Craft Designs, Christmas one. So we've got Noel, um, Silent Night, Holy Night, Merry, Festive, Bright, Season, Christmas, and then some Christmas uh, bulbs and some music notes and a star. And um, the keyword is going to be Noel. N-O-E-L. So um, comment the keyword and like my post. Don't like the video, like like the post <laughs> after it goes up. So the keywords Noel and like the video. And um, and then you'll have a chance to win this prize. Um, Heather says she's going to be on live tomorrow night at eight. So that's awesome. Great to hear. And I just wanted to remind everybody that Lucy Palooza four it, registrations coming up. So it's going to be, um, in January on Jan Saturday, January 29th registration is this Sunday, October 31st at 9 p.m. Can you believe it's already October 31st on Sunday? I can't even believe it. So registration Sunday, October 31st, 9 p.m. sharp. The kit is $129.99. And if you want it shipped, shipping will be, you need to pay for shipping separate. And it's $14. Right, Barb? Um, so you have to make sure um, when you search for Lucy Palooza 4, both of those will come up. So make sure if you want shipping um, to you pay for the kit and for shipping. Um, you are getting well over $250 of retail product. It's like you love October, Christine. I know you do. <laughs> you and your hubby both do. Um, yes, I'm glad she's feeling better too, Yvonne. So you get well over $250 of retail product. There's going to be another special tool in um, in your kits. And we'll all be using the tool in, I think most of us will be using the tool in our classes. Um, there's at least nine classes that we will be hosting for you. Um, there's only 300 spots available. No hint on the new tool. Sorry, Carolyn. It's just that your hint is it's awesome. <laughs> How about that? Um, okay, so there's 300 spots. Oh, no. Yeah, the, the supplies aren't extra. Um, if you sign up for the crop, you get the supplies with your crop. And I think, um, I think a lot of people that are doing online crops do that. They charge extra for your supplies. So I think that's how I, I know, um, when Dan was talking about Lucy Palooza on Sunday, someone said they, some other person had thousands of people signing up for their crops. Well, probably because they don't give them any product. You just sign up for the crop and you go to the crop and use your own stuff and and do a crop like like we're kind of doing now, only I would be making stuff and out of my own stuff. No, we give you the product. So, yeah, so um, that's why we can only do like 300 because we pack the bags, we put everything together, we assemble our, like when we're doing our kits, um, our projects ourselves, we cut everything, well, not cut everything, but we have prepare everything, get the instructions for you. Um, we usually add extras into our projects that um, aren't um, from the store. So we cut ribbon and count buttons and cut trucks and <laughs> we get lots of stuff. Oh, Heather's going to get her way with more people. Yes. <laughs> Lucy 5. So be prepared. So um, Lucy 5 will have more people. Yes. So again, um, for this Lucy 4, you're going to get a flip book class. We're so going to have a dangle charm class. We're going to have a cards, cards classes. More than one card class, I think. 
Uh, there's going to be a layout class, a folio class, a special project by Betty. And if you guys have participated in um, our last Lucy Paloozas, you know what kind of stuff Betty can do with graphic 45 paper or with anything. So yeah, you, you won't want to miss that. And Heather is doing a mixed media project and it is awesome. The mixed media project. So if you've never done a mixed media project, what Heather is going to be doing is perfect for you to get your fingers wet in mixed media. Um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Um, how often do we do the event, Valerie? Um, <laughs> yeah, the, what Heather said, we started doing them in May and this is number four. So I think this is the longest between Lucy's we've had. So our last Lucy Palooza was in September and our next one is in the, at the end of January. So um, it's going to be great, Barb. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So, um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So I hope I explained and pumped up Lucy Palooza for you guys because I am super pumped to, again, be one of the presenters. It's going to be me and Megan and Heather and Betty again. And Dan will be there um, helping out at the store while we're doing all this other craziness. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's so fun. I have so much fun presenting to you guys. And... Uh, talking with you guys while we're while we're presenting and it's just it's just a lot of fun so yes yeah okay so yeah more mixed media instruction we'll get that for you barb yeah heather's heather's great at it she, and she's very patient <laughs> like i said with when i was showing my mixed media art which i have just right here like this this is what we made at uh, ricky palooza um I was very, it was very clean. It wasn't, and mixed media is supposed to be messy. So I've, I've still had to learn how to get messy. <laughs> oh, thanks, Carolyn. We're lucky that you guys um, are participating with us and purchasing Lucy Palooza and purchasing, like supporting our store overall um, during this crazy time and during non-crazy times. We appreciate each and every one of you. So we, we're very happy that we can uh, bring this to you and uh, have lots of fun with you guys on the weekend. And in mid-January, who the heck... Like, you don't even have to leave your house to have a crop. It's going to be awesome. You could be storming outside and you'll be inside warm and cozy and crafting and having some hot chocolate or maybe some hot toddies or something it'll be awesome it's gonna be it's gonna be great yes i what yeah what heather says we so appreciate each and every one of you guys each and every one of you so again october 31st 9 p.m oh prima okay heather said prima's sponsoring the event oh yes um that's right too prima's uh new to us for this lucy palooza which is awesome as well as Sizzix and American Crafts. So, yes, Valerie, you definitely have to come visit sometime. Where are you hanging out? Are you far from us? Hopefully not, and you can come visit. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Okay, so remember, tomorrow night, um, Heather's on at 8. Our keyword for the prize tonight. Oh, score pal, yes. And one other new supplier not yet announced. Oh, chocolate tea. I didn't see that that um that message. Where on earth do you get chocolate tea? Who has chocolate tea? Carolyn, you have chocolate tea? Just saying chocolate and tea. What more could you ask for, right? <laughs> All right. So again, if you want a chance to win the prize, the keywords Noel. Oh, and uh, like my post after I get it posted. And I'll have some of these samples in the store for you guys to look at. 
and if you want the kit again the, the kit is um, called the classic Christmas special kit under by Elizabeth craft design and it's 5849 which is a great price and you get all this fun stuff and you can make all this fun stuff the same as I did so thanks everybody for tuning in um, oh you live in Vancouver Jennifer oh that's okay maybe you can come for a visit someday <laughs> Oh, this Sunday we're going to have Lucy and Ricky. Well, we had Lucy and Ricky last Sunday too, but <laughs> Lucy wasn't 100%. But it was awesome. Ricky did a great job and uh, Lucy coaching helped him a lot. So look forward to that as well. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, remember, October 31st, 9 p.m. After the little trick-or-treaters are gone home. And then uh, we will um, have some Lucy fun. So until next time, happy crafting, everybody.